In first grade, I hope that I get to learn morning greetings. The next thing I like to do is play golf. One thing about me I like to do is eat pizza. Another thing I like to do is play baseball. My name is Polly and I'm, I'm in first grade and I made a bean bag. It was super hard because I made a bunch of mistakes, but my I fixed it and they feel super proud of it. This is my scarecrow pa painting and I worked super hard on it and I made it and it was kind of fun and I like my scarecrow and I like how the barn is exploding. This is my printing. I like it. It looks really beautiful. I like the purple and yellow together. There's some red parts, and I feel really good about it. My new friend is named Elijah. He likes wrestling. My buddy likes to play football, play golf, and he loves to play baseball. My buddy likes to do soccer, skateboarding, and basketball. What I like about my book is that I, I think I drew kind of well and, it's, and the last page looks kind of silly. What was hard about this was writing. Um, I, I still feel good about it, but so, at some point they didn't have to fix this. To make 30, I used math sentences. There were 24 ways to make 30. What was challenging was making the math sentences. I have a mom, a dad, and a sister named Luca, and, and we like to play. Me, my dad and me like to play sports, and my sister and my mom likes to dance, and we love each other a lot. This is how I made my puppet. I needed to sew it, and I needed to paper mache, and I needed to choose my color. And what was challenging was I, I made lots of mistakes, but I feel proud that I fixed it, and, and it looks super good. This is my penguin art. I used paper, and I needed to glue it, and I had to sciz use scissors, and it looks good. What was challenging was gluing the small details onto my picture. And I'm proud of, of how it looks. What I'm good at is writing and what I and at and I feel hard is reading hard words and and I'm getting better at smelling, doing mindful smelling, and I'm uh, <laughs> proud of my mouth. My thoughts of first grade is that I like the lunch, and it is fun in first grade. It is fun reading. And it is fun writing, and I like science, and another thing that I like is that I like math. My hope and dream is that I read longer books so I could get better at reading. 
I can work on um, this by reading a longer book. The second one is my little sister Luca. And the fourth one is my mom Janice. My dad and me likes to do golf and basketball, baseball, and football. The first one in the orange shirt is me, Polly. My sister likes to do um, dancing and singing, and my mom likes to do likes to work out and cook food for. Her. The third one is my dad, PJ. My family is important because we, because we, are all. Um, loving each other, and we 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 try to be as nice as we can, and and we like to hug and kiss every night. The body covering helps it blending with the tree. My animal is a Santa snake. What felt easy for me was the illustrations. What felt hard was thinking of words. Another thing that changed in my special spot is that it turned way greener. What changed in my special spot is that yellow flowers are blooming. And another change in our special spot is that more bushes are growing. What I used is sticks, leaves, um, mud, and plants and feathers. My nest is called mess, a messy nest. What was challenging for my nest was um, picking up some rocks and twigs with a spoon. What I am most proud of is that how much effort we put into this to make this happen. My books are The Lost Tooth, Seven Beautiful beautiful gold pieces, all about kawaii, and how to play golf. What went well in my shaping the yard is my partner and me were very consistent. What I learned about shapes is like, if it's in different angles, it doesn't mean it's a different shape, and I learned that that shapes with sides are called polygons, and and they ha and they have even if they are have like three sides, three corners, but it's in a different angle. It doesn't mean it's a different shape. What was hard about my yard was um trying to fit everything in the in a good place for it. What was hard is that, um, like making the eyes and, and how I made it is by drawing a pencil and then, then writing over it on styrofoam and, and, what I'm proud of is that how my mouth came out. How I did it was like, I got my sketch and I traced over it on styrofoam and then, and then wrote ink on it and then stamped it on a piece of paper. And what was hard was um, um, not getting it on the table. And how, what I was proud of is how I 
fitted the three colors and how it looked so beautiful. How I made this is gluing lots of pieces of paper together and painting the pieces to get that I that I glued together in the in the and I made it look like me. The type of bones that I found were um hip bones, leg bones, um skulls, teeth and some um rare bones. Owl pellets are basically throw up from an owl and it turns out to be like in ball a ball with bones inside it. What I learned is that they, that owls could um, swallow their prey whole, not tearing it up, but they, but they can't digest the bones, so they have to throw it up in like a ball. Play is important because you get to hang out with friends and you get to learn how to solve conflict. How I made it is like just putting paper, stapling and taping paper together to make it stand up and like, like, and you're basically making hats and, um, what was hard is like, trying to make it stand up straight. And what I'm proud of is that that I made that I made it stand up straight. The barn swallow makes a cup nest and it has a Swiss army knife beak. What I love about birding is that you get to discover new birds and new nests and you get to see sometimes um, baby chicks. What I love about first grade is that the friends are super nice, and then and my teachers, they help us do better in our life. What I miss the most about first grade is my teachers, the books. And and my how I like like the messages for the morning. First, two things we're gonna miss about first grade is teacher Jan and teacher Lila. They've been amazing teachers and they've helped Polly grow uh, academically and as a person. And we are eternally thankful to them for that. And. I think what I'm going to miss the most, however, is seeing Polly being my, my little baby boy. And in first grade, from the beginning of the year to the end, we've seen him transition from my little baby boy to a grown big boy. And I think that's what I'll miss the most. But that's a part of growing up, and we're proud of what he's become and what he will become. So on to second grade. What I'll miss most about first grade um, is Polly having Jan and Lila as his teachers. They've been amazing. It's been a great partnership. And um, But we also look forward to his new lessons and what he's going to accomplish in second grade. Polly has definitely become a much stronger reader in first grade, but what I'm most proud about with Polly is his mental strength and how much he has grown um, mentally and emotionally and being able to deal with with tough situations and adversity and and how to bounce back when things don't quite go exactly as planned and um, for that I'm very proud of him it shows in his sports in his schoolwork and and in everyday life so good job Polly. Polly 
Jordan has grown tremendously this year, not just physically, but he has become a confident reader as well as an amazing writer. We have enjoyed hearing his stories and all of the information that he's um, absorbed this year, like the birds and just seeing his math skills grow as well. One way that I've grown this year is that I, my reading has gotten very better.